when I first got here, this guy named Paul Wright just seemed to connect me to everybody and money sources and do nice things for me. You know, I, I mean, all along the way, every time he did something nice for me, I was so graceless that I sort of offended him and he just kind of put up with it. And then, then I figured out that I offended him and I tried to apologize and he moved me on to the next thing. So he was kind of like a, you know, he's almost like a father figure, except for now he, my father's nothing like that. And he's not, you know, uh, <clears throat> anyway, but he, he, he did um, become um, very um, uh, caring of me and him and his wife. And uh, so he's, he's connecting everything. And then um, he has a, a love of the number 13. You know, he's, he's always thinking about that kind of stuff. So I wrote the time signature in 13. And then I, I looked at the map of Cinnamon from the top and it just seemed like a, a brain vein. It, it seemed like an algorithm. It seemed like math, you know? So I said, oh, how about, you know, a, thir a piece in 13 that breaks into the Fibonacci sequence for the bridge? And so I did. And I, I thought, well, how can you make the Fibonacci sequence not sound like math? You know, so I, I, then I, I made segments that, that felt dancey, you know, of it, like, you know, group segments. I, I played with the rhythm so that it came out Fibonacci, but the accents were very dancey, you know. And then, uh, uh, then I, put the, I made the phrases, even though they wound up up, I made them go up and then go down up and then in, interpolate. So I did, you know, different ways, you know. And then I thought, well, that's a lot of information for a pass. So I repeated it three times. And then I broke for solos. And, and the solos um, are in 7-4 because it still sounds odd, but it doesn't sound like 4-4. Four, four. You know, 7 is the new 4. And, and it, so all the soloists will be easily able to play over it. And then I just use uh, side slip harmony because it, 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 it opens it up so that even though you're in like D minor, you're in three other keys too. You can be in, uh, so that it, it just frees them up to play as, as exuberantly as they possibly could, you know. And then, so then I thought, okay, further to the idea of complexity, you know, I first started out with just the drummer and then I added the vibraphonist with no bottom. And then I stuck the bottom in, then I layered a uh, saxophone and, I, and everybody just keeps playing and then don't step on anybody, but just keep on weaving, find your way until like, I had like a bunch of guys and they were, and then when the piano comes in, it's 16 bars and we're going to the Fibonacci sequence. So that was the, the trick, you know. And when he came in, boom, and then everybody starts counting while they're playing, but they're acting like they're not counting, you know, and then they all break for the, the, uh, the tune again. And it's just, just getting back to the tune all together like that, it's a, it's a minor miracle, man. And they do it every single time. <laughs> it's beautiful.